Hey Damask lovelies, welcome to another episode of Craft is in Session. Today I'm showing you how to make this adorable pot of gold tote bag. It is way easier than you think. Let's get started. To make your tote bag, you're gonna need a few simple supplies. You're going to need a canvas tote bag, you're going to need about three yards of this rainbow strapping. You can pick it up at Joanne. That's where I got mine. You're also going to need a glue gun with fabric glue sticks inside. You're going to need gold glitter. You probably don't need this much gold glitter, but you'll need gold glitter. You'll need some decoupage glue. I'm using the Americana Satin Decoupage. You'll need some fabric medium. You'll need some gold paint. I'm using Deco Art Matte Metallics. You'll need some paint brushes and some painter's tape. The first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is grab your tote bag, and I like to give mine a little bit of shape before I start painting it, and the way I do that is I grab, this is actually a shipping box that we have. Do not go and steal shipping boxes just for this project. Use the ones you already have around. Slide it into your tote bag. This way it will give it a little bit of shape. And then to fill in the sides, I'm using just a couple planks of wood. This is the part where you get creative and you just figure out what you have in your house that will work for this and um, fill up your tote bag so that it has some structure, which makes it easier to paint. All right, my tote bag has a nice structure to it because of the stuff I put inside, and now I'm gonna tape off of the bottom of the bag so that I can create that dipped effect. You'll wanna make sure to really rub in that tape so that it gets really stuck, so that you get a clean line when it's time to remove the tape from your bag. paint that I'll put down on my canvas bag. You're going to need to grab the fabric medium and your deco art matte metallics paint. You're going to want to mix a 50-50 mix of paint to fabric medium. I'll start by squirting in some of my fabric medium and then I'll go back in with some of the matte metallics. You can eyeball it, you don't have to be exact. Now I'll grab my paintbrush and just mix those two together until I get a good, smooth consistency. Fabric medium is awesome because it takes away that stiffness of acrylic paint and makes the acrylic paint go on really smooth and flexible. Now we're ready to add our paint to the bag. This matte metallic background is going to really make our gold glitter pop once we put it on and it also will help in case we have any gaps so that we aren't seeing any of the white canvas bag. <laughs> make sure you protect your work surface because I'm splattering paint everywhere. Probably should have worn an apron. Dry 
dry completely, and then you'll be able to remove the tape and see what it looks like. All right, I let my bag dry and I took off the tape and you're gonna find that all that white glue went away and all you're left with is beautiful glitter. The really cool part is that this glitter will not flake. It's in there with the glue so you don't have to worry about the flaking off on your clothes when you wear it. So great. Now I can take out the pieces that I was using to keep the form of the bag. And the other cool thing is that the bag now has some shape because of that decoupage glue. It's kind of a sturdy bottom bag now, which I really love, so you can load it up with all your stuff. Now, because we want to make this a pot of gold tote bag, we're going to use our rainbow strapping to create rainbow straps on our bag. We're going to get rid of these and replace it with something colorful. To do that, I'm going to leave on the current straps for now, and I'm going to place my strapping on the bag and get an idea of how much I need for one side. You're going to roll it around until you kind of get the feeling of how long you want your strap to be. Once you've got one side done, just go back in the other direction because this will double to create two straps on either side of your bag. And you'll just cut this. Now that we've measured out how long we need our straps to be, I'm going to go ahead and cut off the existing straps. You could use a seam ripper for this, but I'm just going to do it the quick and dirty way and trim them off with a pair of scissors. Now our bag is ready for its new pretty rainbow straps. To put them on, I'm going to start by using a little bit of glue. We are going to sew on the straps, but to keep them in place, it's a smart idea to grab a glue gun to give yourself somewhere to put it so it stays so that it's easier to sew it in place later. Just run a bead of hot glue down your bag and place the strap on top. When you get to the end, just kind of join those straps at the bottom. And then you can cut off any excess overhang. Now you can totally see how our bag is coming together. But remember, the glue isn't going to hold your strap on forever. You do want to sew it in place. So you have two choices. You can either stitch the entire strap from bottom to top, or you can actually just st stitch kind of a little square right here towards the top since that's where most of the weight will be. 